destination usually has a great journey involved with it. In our case, we had to first drive over 400 kilometers to Pushkar from Delhi in order to enjoy our destination along with close to 50 Andhra Mahindra vehicles the next day. The route to Pushkar was straightforward. Catch the National Highway No. 8 that connects Delhi to Mumbai, keep driving past Jaipur and finally take the cut just before Ajmer. The highway till Jaipur has improved over the last few years and hence 4 hours after we started, we are finally on the bypass heading towards the fabulous Jaipur Ajmer Expressway. The Thar in the meantime was allowed to stretch its legs and I was pretty impressed with the way the speedometer needle crossed onto the wrong side of 140 kmph. 6.5 hours after we had started from Delhi, we were finally entering our base for the next two nights on the bypass of Pushkar. It was time to meet other like-minded people including the Garari Off-Roaders and of course the North Indian Off-Road Club. The hotel's parking lot in the meantime kept swelling all night and by morning we had close to 50 Mahindra vehicles, SUVs, Scorpios, Boleros and of course the Thars which easily outnumbered the others. Today would be fun. We live here. By 9 am, the 107th Great Escape was finally flagged off from the hotel and all the participants drove towards the main town and further to the main location. The convoy of vehicles on the narrow straight road looked great and within 15 minutes, we reached the starting point of the Great Escape. There were two categories. The two-wheel drive vehicles were meant for the trails event while the 4x4 vehicles were entering the trophy event. Needless to say, the route chosen for the 4x2 vehicles was tough as well and almost every participant had a tough time negotiating the course. Well, if you're an enthusiast, for you, Mahindra means the Thar, the 4x4 models of Scorpio, Bolero, XUV as well. But today, it's all about the Thar and we are in Pushkar for the 107th Great Escape right here. As for the 4x4 owners, the track was technical though not impossible. There were 4 main courses and everyone was just on various parameters, approach, speed, exit and vehicle preservation. Both modified and unmodified thars were a part of it including a very special vehicle, the good old Willys G. The first course itself proved to be tough as the last exit ramp was pretty difficult. So we are on the way for our first obstacle. Uh, we've been told there are 20 odd cars, SUVs before us, uh, which went have dug up a truck a lot. So the last uh, exit uh, is very steep, it's very sandy, it's digging in. So all the best to us. Making this more challenging was the fact that this involved driving up a sandy hill too. By the time half the vehicles were done with the second course, the last exit ramp became loose and deep. This did prove difficult for a few participants. simple in the way it looked. Speed up and climb the nearly 30 degree incline to the top of the hill. The sand was loose and this added to the challenge. Speed was important and further momentum had to be maintained at all times. The lightweight Willys Jeep was one of the few vehicles that made it up while most of the other participants had to give up after their permitted 3 chances. Final 
and the fourth course was a time based one. Participants had to drive through a narrow ravine, making their way out to an open field and finally finish the course through a tricky, tricky tight ditch. This course was the toughest one and did eat quite a few thars. Winching was common and so was damaged fenders and flat tires. Icing on the cake came in the form of a very non-competitive course where everyone had to drive down a hill. This was scary and fun at the same time. Close to a 35 degree drop on loose sandy terrain meant goosebumps for all. By the time we were done, it was 4.30 pm and the sun was fast disappearing into the horizon. The day had been spent very well and gave owners a chance to experience what their vehicles could really do. As for us, it showcased a vehicle that you and I could comfortably drive to a weekend destination push and utilize the machine to the max and drive back to your home the next day without having to worry about a thing in the world.